right. So I'm here with uh, David Waters. This is Happy Hour with Heather and Guest. Uh, David has a lot of projects under his belt, a lot of experience, but uh, we are here to talk about the Waters Project today, which is a, a band that you founded in 2014 uh, as a creative outlet. I'm getting this from the Doomed and Stoned website. This was one of the great uh, articles written um, as a creative outlet for original music from your 40 plus career uh, with inspiration from bands and artists such as Pete Townsend, Tom Petty, Neil Young, Crazy Horse, Pretenders, ACDC, Pearl Jam. And it was interesting because when I was listening to your music, those were some of the, you know, Tom Petty and Neil Young especially were ones that I said, okay, this is in that wheelhouse. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, so if you are looking for, if you're fans of any of those musicians and you're looking for contemporary music that will take the torch and run with it, then definitely check out Waters Project and anything David is affiliated with. Well, that's very kind of you. And thank you everybody for pursuing what he just told you to do. Yeah. Well, I, you know, the, the, one of the, one of the great things about being on this end of it is I get to hear a lot of really cool contemporary stuff that maybe people don't know about and trying to sort of direct them to where that is, uh, especially mm -hmm. in this day and age where, you know, technology allows us to find stuff really easily. Um, sometimes people just need to know where to go. And, uh, and there's a ton of, I mean, it's always great for me too, when I find music that's universally easy to listen to, that's good. Um, I, I sort of jump on the chance to send people over to check it out. So I can officially endorse the Waters Project as one of those bands uh, because that's, that's really it crosses, gen it crosses genres. I mean, it's great rock music uh, with other elements involved. But again, if you're a fan of Tom Petty or Neil Young or ACDC or Pearl Jam or any of those bands, then you'll find elements in all of these songs that you'll be able to rock out with. So, Rocking out is key. Yes. And I know, so this, this was sort of a project that came about as a chance to sort of serve as an outlet for you. Yeah. I mean, I've been making music for a long time, you know, ever since I was, you know, able to lift a guitar and, and 15, whatever, it's always been uh, a real, real deep, you know, avenue for me. Uh, it's uh, I, actually a long, long time ago when I was traveling in Canada with my my parents on vacation. They did one of those handwriting analysis things at an amusement park, and you write your your name down, and then they throw it in this machine. I, I was like seven, and I thought it was like you know it was all real. And uh, the 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 phrase came back that I had an overdeveloped imagination. So I have always loved that and thinking, well, I have an overdeveloped imagination. How about that? And they figured that out right away. But it's uh, the, the creative juices have just been always there. And uh, so, yeah, I, it's, and I, I've played in many, many bands and, and many ways to like uh, pursue all of that. But I've never really put a band around my, my music. I've always recorded my own music and had an outlet for that. Uh, but I've never really pursued my own band. I'm going to front it. I'm going to, you know, do everything that it takes to to get a band on stage, which is more than just writing the music. Uh, until now, and uh, what a, what an uh, what an eye opener it was. So yeah, it all kind of all of that background just kind of came exploding into this project in a big way. So, uh, but I appreciate the, the 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 kind words. Oh, it's my pleasure. I mean, it's and also uh, I I think it's sort of you summed it up. They quoted you on the website on Doomed and Stoned, where, I, where I'm getting this information, uh, where the, the, I guess the mission statement, inspired original guitar rock under the influence of my heroes, played as beautifully and as with as much honesty as possible. Um, and I, re I feel like you definitely stick with that mission statement. Um, you know, the, the songs are great. For those of you out there, check it out, The Waters Project. Um, really, I mean, just really great sort of throwback rock and roll. 
Um, so if you're into that music, if you're just into good music, check it out. Now, so this was sort of, a, you obviously have been making music for a long time, but this was kind of a chance to showcase, you know, the the songwriting, putting a band together, really kind of putting it out there, as well as just not just recording your own stuff, but putting the full band together and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's anybody that that might be listening or watching this that is a musician or a creator, whether it's you know painted art or audio or you know writing or whatever. You know, there's a process that that I think we all go through individually. That uh, it's a very for me, it's a very isolated you know you know, environment I need to be in. And and all of this comes to you and it, and, it, and it all works in your own little world, but until you get it out in front of people and you you, you bring in other creative people to, in the case of a, of a band, you know, you bring in other people to take your music and then play it, you know, uh, I'm the kind of band, you know, person that, you know, I like the original, you know, kind of concept or the original vision, but I'm also willing to understand that I've got really talented players around me, or at least I try to have, that will make it even better, that that will take the songs and, and, and you know, do the traditional, add their own, you know, sense of their, their musicality to it, but take the songs and make them better. And I think any, any really strong writer out there should be open to that and and I, you know from you know petty to acdc to you know any you know you know neil young any band out there look at what the beatles have done you know not that i'm anywhere near that but it, you know if you write in a bubble you get you get that but if you bring in real creative you know viewpoints it, it just makes everything better so uh, that's what I, I i was really happy to have happened with uh this group is because I, you know, the, the, this particular song that we just released on the video called "It's What You Do to Me," which will be on Doomed and Stoned, and and Andrew will give you the the links to that. That originally came in in my mind as a real hard kind of punk, just nasty garage, you know, driving song, and the drummer started playing it in the in the groove that you'll hear on the on the on the recording. It was like this half tempo, really kind of dark heavy ominous you know kind of beat i said no 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 it's it's got to be like this and the other guitar player is going yeah because that's what he likes to play and the drummer and the bass player kept on playing it this halftime thing and we all looked at each other and we went shit that song and the bass player looks at me and goes dave this sounds really really good this way i was like okay we went that direction so it was it was, it was a really uh it was a very valuable uh lesson to learn to be open to that that outer out, you know outside suggestion so yeah the, when i uh the i i had uh been a teacher before this um and i ran a club a music appreciation club and one uh friday i showed a documentary called hired gun which was mm -hmm. about session musicians and uh, Alice Cooper was being interviewed and he talked about how important it was when you put a band together to find people who you get along with well. You know, you can either work with them, yeah. work with them, trust them. I mean, he also put it as plainly as someone you're willing to spend time with 22 hours a day on a bus who is, you know, who you're going to get along with. Um, yeah, exactly. And I remember trying to sort of imprint that onto my students like guys as much as you just want to spend six hours a day shredding on your guitar it's also really important to develop relationships with other musicians and be cool and figure things out and i i wish they would have heard you just now talk about how the collaboration elevated the the song to some place that you didn't think it would go um, right. and it ended up going sort of where it needed to be Exactly. And it's funny that you mentioned Alice Cooper because he was a, such an early, early influence for me. I, I you know, uh, I remember when that his album with I'm 18, you know, came out and oddly enough, my older brother had bought it. And I, you know, I was always, I've always been a very visual guy. And I looked at the album cover 
And I was like, if anybody doesn't know what that album cover looks like, get it. And I was like completely mesmerized by their whole presence. And I went, this is really, really interesting. And I listened to that album. And to this day, he's another big influence on me, whether, you know, I don't sing or dance like him, although I love his singing style. It's just very raw and real, uh, you know, but that whole intensity and vibe of his early stuff, especially, had a huge effect on me because I, I was I was in that wheelhouse. I was like one of those classic white punks on dope, you know, kind of just out of control, totally an Alice Cooper guy at that point. And I, I, I saw him, you know, on the uh, 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 schools out tour. I think that's what it was. Where you know, and uh, it was one of the most memorable you know moments of my life. And a quick quick note on that. Uh, again, I'm a I'm a real Pretenders Chrissy Hind fan, and uh, I was reading her biography, and she mentions that it was you know where I where I saw this Alice Cooper show was at the Akron Rubber Bowl in Cleveland, well Akron, Ohio, and you can look that up. And it was a legendary show, a legendary time. I think it was like seventy three or seventy four. And in Chrissy Hind's autobiography, she mentions that she was at that show. And I think her quote is, I was at this Alice Cooper show at the Akron Rebel Bowl, passed out in the dirt. <laughs> so, and I thought she was young, obviously, you know, we've all been there. But I just really dug the fact that I was at that show and Chrissy Hine, my other massive hero, was at the show too, you know, so. Yeah, no, that, I mean, it's, it, that reminds me of um, the, I guess it's the free trade hall show, the lesser free trade hall show that the Sex Pistols played at or were going to play at. And so many musicians, uh, I think, Joy, you know, members of Joy Division were there. Uh, and uh, so many other people put bands together who had had that shared experience of getting something from the show. Um, oh, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's always, that's always, a, it's always great when the inspiration, you know, is shared at a show or a gig and you know that someone else was there but Chrissy Hunt wow I don't I wish I don't think I have any any shows I've been to where I've later found out that they were attended by and it was a shock it was a shock yeah. and, I, and I and and it was it was a pretty outrageous show pretty outrageous show I'm, yeah I'm sure I'm sure it was but uh so the the project's been around since 2014 um, you're re you're recording music. You're putting music out. Uh, do you have shows lined up? Is there uh, is that sort of the next step, or is it kind of just like let's see how this plays out? Oh no, no. We, we we've been a gigging band for you know since 2014. You know, with when pandemic hit, uh, our our that was uh, in the city. It was pretty much like March 14th, March 15th, and then shit shut down. Um, I think for the world, it shut down at that point. But our last show had been only a couple of months prior to that, uh, you know, uh, at a at a club in the city. And you know, playing in the city is an interesting you know angle because you you want to play out as much as possible, but you don't want to play out too much because then you burn out your audience. Clubs expect you to bring a certain amount of people, and so you got to really play your cards carefully as far as where you play and when you play. Um, there's some pretty funny stories about Brian Setzer when he would play in the city where he would uh, he'd basically name his, he would have a different name for his band every week. So they could play all these different shows within a week apart, but under a different name so they could get away with it. But uh, back to our shows, we had just played uh, up two months prior to, the, to uh, the, the city shutting down. And, and ever since it's been shut down, we've all kind of been, uh, Heading in our own directions and, and coming, we're going to get back on on the uh, the live thing soon. You know, we just got to make sure everybody's comfortable with getting back into rehearsals. And, and I, I try to respect those guys. You know, the, the drummer got a really bad case of uh, COVID very early on, um, back in March, March of 2020. And so, you know, every, everybody I think in the world is dealing with that. So, yeah, we'll we'll be back. But right now, we're re we're just focusing on recording. And, gotcha. And, and yeah, and I, I just just wanted to give the uh, the viewer an idea of where they could find. You know, obviously the music is out. People can see the videos on YouTube. They can hear the music. Um, if people want to see you guys uh, 
play live at some point. You'll probably have some gigs in the yeah, future. Yeah we'll, yeah, we'll make sure everybody knows. And and you know the 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 band might be uh, a different version of what it is now. Uh, it's but right now everybody's solid, but we're very busy. Uh, you know, you know my my main goal is to kind of being like the creative director, or whatever uh, is is just to keep writing new material. You know, we've got a lot of old material that I'd like to record that um, is uh, strong, but, you know, I'm finding that even the new stuff that I'm writing that, you know, I haven't even shown the band that I'm done, you know, finishing up. I have a little project studio uh, is, is get, you know, like it's, it's process. You get better and better at your craft. And uh, so I'm looking forward to getting everybody back together. Cool. cool. I, I mean, it'll, it'll be great. To, I mean, I, I'm glad to know that you have irons in the fire, that you've got songs you're working on, that you'll put the, the crew back together to record them, rehearse, uh, at some point go back out uh, and play some shows. But, uh, but that's great. I mean, in the meantime, there's enough material out there that people can find your music, watch your videos, and, uh, and anticipate new stuff to be coming out within the next couple of months. Yeah, actually, um, we ha we have a SoundCloud link too, and on that is uh, some of our first stuff from the first CD. When when we first started the band, um, you know, we went into the studio. You know, we had played a few live shows, and we went into the studio and recorded uh, an EP that was really just basically, you know, live to tape. You know, we did everything just two or three takes each. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, and it came out really great. But it's this. You can see that. Mm -hmm. That's our CD. I can get it. You know, you access to the CD, or someone can contact me at DM. But um, you know, it's like real official stuff. Everybody's seen these before. This was kind of like the vibe of our logo. You can, as you can see, there's a, a Who influence there. If anybody's familiar with the Who's logo, kind of looks like that. But um, and you know, this, this, I actually got this, this graphic from a uh, scientific website and it's, 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 it basically it's, uh, uh, the, the, the graphic for sound dispersion and then and the way this is described in the scientific, you know, way is that this is a wall, the sound goes in through one channel and then it is expanded on, this is how sound is naturally, you know, processed. So I thought, well, that's really kind of fun. You know, so I wanted to use that as the logo, you know, as like the Waters Project comes in here and then just gets loud. That's why it says, you know, Waters Project loud. And on the back, I'll read you this quote. It says loud, which is the name of the CD. It says, making or causing a lot of noise, strong and noticeable in sound. So that's us. That, that, but there's some really, really, really good tracks they're very rock they're very raw they're, there's no there's very little overdubs and it really is i'm very proud of it even at this point you know because some of these songs we still do live today and there are they are pretty much automatic to just lock in instantaneously and everybody loves them so this is available cool so for those of you out there looking for uh either new new stuff that's being recorded by the Waters Project, you can find it. Um, I know you're, you have a social media presence, just the Waters Project. It's, uh, I'll have uh, links in the, when I put this out on social media so that you can find it, but uh, be on the lookout for Loud as well. And, uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad that you're gonna be still making music and there's yeah. stuff to look forward to. I am too. You know, it's a it's um something that I've never had a shortage of is an ability to pick up a guitar and just in, within two minutes come up with a riff, and then all of a sudden I've got a song, and then I record it, and it goes on live on stage. It's you know, writer's block has never been a, a problem for me. It's almost more the opposite. It's like just shutting it off and 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 finishing what I've started. I mean, I've got. A song on, on my phone right now that uh, I probably got at least a half a dozen, maybe ten songs that the band hasn't even heard yet that I've been working on, and uh, and I just am I'm finishing up a song right now that uh, is I think one of my best yet. Honestly, it's it's kind of fun whether it, 
how it how it stands in the pantheon of, of other people's versions of best or what we think is their your favorite song. But um, it, I'm I'm really digging the way it's coming out. It's, it's very much in, in line with what the the band does. Great. Well, yeah, as it, it as someone who's appreciated the music I've heard so far, I'm looking forward to the new stuff. Um, and for those of you out there who are musicians, I hope you've learned uh, some tricks of the trade, how to go about getting your ideas out there. Um, so yeah, I mean, we will keep directing people to the Waters Project uh, as we can, but uh, I don't have any more questions for you. Oh, Thank you. Right, good. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me and uh, good luck with everything. Yeah, it's a real pleasure. This is a lot of fun. And uh, just want to say thanks to you sure. and, and, and then whoever out there might be listening or whatever, please uh, give us a shot, give us a contact. You can find us. Uh, and, um, you know, just thanks for listening. You know, obviously live music and, and, and original music is, is really, uh, there's tons of it out there. But to each person that's making that music at that time, regardless of what you like, and the, the millions of artists that are out there, each one of those these people, and I'm one of them, uh, it's it's just creative inspiration is is really uh, valuable. And so we we love that you guys listen.